Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 The Sith Lords Restored Content Mod with me, Get Daved! So, we get the thrill of exploring a maze without a map. We're going to employ the same tactic that Perseus did while navigating the labyrinth. The left wall hug. Starting, oh, stood a little close to that one. Starting to regret our lack of demolition skills. But not that much. I think later on you come by this location. Ooh, Farah's corpse. I think you come back here later and your map works, but don't quote me on that. Oh no. The vent doors keep closing behind me. Oh, wish I'd noticed that little detail. I might have made a map on paper. Or paid closer attention, but we'll just keep going with the left wall hug, because uh, that is totally a flawless strategy that in no way could result in you going in circles forever. Wow. I didn't notice that much poisonous gas. <laughs> yeah, I think you're putting a lot of faith in my lack of doing a left wall hug. I would think one really strong door would be more effective. No, oh, you thought of that. He appears to be being protected by Daft Punk. His gift is Mira, who Hanhar suddenly has decided to kill. Probably? I guess we don't know that. I don't... We're not looking for her. Which is it gonna be? <laughs> How fair from a gameplay point of view. Kill you, but I will if you don't get out of my way. Mm. Weren't you just so confident they were going to live just a while ago? Okay. I forgot that little detail that she doesn't set off mines. That's actually quite convenient. Oh, but I bet Hanhar does. All right. Level 13 scout, that's not great for the situation we're in. Well, might as well get that poison immunity. Strength plus two could come in handy. We're unlikely to be exposed to coal or fire. Melee. Um, 
there's a chance maybe, I don't know. I could see Hanhar having access to a fear-based attack, so we would want immunity to that. And I'm just going to double check Mira's uh, feats. Blaster specialization, of course, but no two-handed weaponry, I don't think. She is okay at close combat, though. We could also try relying on her, her um, rocket launcher, which I believe is... There we go. Right there, we have one explosive rocket. We'll just let him set off a few of these. Poisoned, and he's taken a fair bit of damage. I think he's got insane HP. Alright, let's see how this goes. He appears not to be able to hit... Oh, there we go. He can hit us, but... Never mind, this is a... Uh... A lot more one-sided than I remember it being. And not close. <laughs> Way to see the silver lining. My guy's dead, but hey, he's free. Hmm. Kinda wish I'd saved the mines now. You reveal too much. Okay. How unfortunate we started so close to the hounds. Our opponent who has literally unleashed the hounds on us. I'm willing to do that a couple more times. Those two are still almost toast. And then after that, it's just us versus two at full strength. Thanks, auto target. Alright, now I think we can grind it out. In these sorts of situations, it's of course always your best first priority. There we go just to eliminate or even the odds as much as you can. Going one on one, we can take pretty much as much time as we want. Fragmines would have had some value. Just some equipment in case you don't have anything. Ooh, a poison dart would have been wonderful against Hanhar. If it wasn't clear from watching, Mira launches grenades from her rocket launcher as well. You know, it's kind of her thing. Advanced combat. Actually, these both sound kind of interesting. Guess her constitution isn't that high to take advantage of that. That's sad. Combat Enforcer. Kind of an interesting gun. That's the nicest thing I have to say about it. Q 
key card, hey? I think we're gonna have to have a pretty serious talk with Visquis about, uh... <laughs> allegedly high security doors. Alright, this will be interesting. I guess she's really hard to hit up close with a double-bladed sword, but, uh... This definitely doesn't look like a battle that would favor Mira. She also has no healing moves. We do have access to our med packs, but I don't really want to have too many more fights like that. Stand back. Mm. You really don't want to have too many more fights like that. I'm just going to hit a quick save here, just because I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh boy! If I could do it again, I'd have her stim up. Please? There we go. Actually, now we can change her. Ugh. We have to wait till combat's officially over. There we go. This actually explains why she's resisted damage pretty effectively, too. I think it's in her interest not to change her armor. Because we're getting hit lots, but shaving 5 damage off of all of that's pretty nice. Especially, it just looks like we can't uh, do that much better. There's no dexterity limit on this as well, so... Alright. she close to a level up? Not even. Alright. I guess we're not going to have any convenient way to restore our health. You keep taking that stuff, Mira. Just gonna check. Battle Stimulant might be one of our better options. I take it back. That's not that great. I'm gonna go with the Hyper Alacrity. It'd be kind of nice to save this for the Exile for a more serious time, but we're in tough right now. The Accuracy bonus and the Defense bonus will help quite a bit. So those situations where it looks like she's being hit but not taking any damage are where that uh, resistance bonus built into her jacket are helping us out. So that means they're basically doing less than 5 damage. Kiting is avoided a two on one. Those sorts of things are going to save us med packs in the long run. Oh, yeah. Give yourself 10 get Dave points if you weren't yelling at the screen for that. You need to use that this whole time. Use the friggin' shield you equipped, Dave. Yeah, that's going to change our lives. I'm feeling pretty much fearless now. Skill's too low. Mm, we could blow it up with a detonator. We can see where the exile was too now. 
So I, eh. I'm thinking back to uh, where are the crappy mines? Might be the miner frag. We'll just blow the lock. Let's look this right. There we go. For some reason, that doesn't, uh... Not really? Let's leave this right here. Well, screw that. Also, I suppose we could stealth around as well. There's lots of good strategies for us here. Doesn't look like we have a way of boosting that. I don't really want to smash it because, you know, it's going to ruin some chemicals or components. And I do think we can get the exile pretty quickly. Hmm. Neglected the important detail of going into stealth mode. That's all right. sure if the plus or the minus five to her uh, damage reception applies before or after the shield protects us. Ideally it would be before. It would make the shield last significantly longer. I think that may actually be the case. We could check the feedback log to find that out, but uh, I'm not that curious. Arcanian blinders. Too heavy for her to wear. Lots of treasures we need to come back and get. Stand back. Easy. Our drugs have worn off. That's another one for me. We wasted all their effectiveness trying to blow up a locker. I'm liking these things and we've got a lot of them so I'm just going to keep equipping them over and over. And I swear sooner or later I will try out the stealth mode thing. The game appears to be <laughs> intent on helping me here, so that's fine. That's another one for me. Fantastic. I have a feeling this might need to be open from a tur. Uh, yeah. Yep, we need to find a terminal. Yeah. That brief pause was me wondering if I could engage stealth mode. I should really see if I can just run around like that all the time. Check something real quick. Oh, and pfft. not a single point in stealth. I figured that would be right up her alley. Well, this is a door, so I don't have to feel bad about shooting it. You do technically lose out on a very small number of experience points, but I'm okay with that.
workbench vent control. I don't, unless there's vents on the other side as well, like a second maze, I don't really see how this can be symmetrical. Stand back. But it certainly has been very much so, so far. It's actually kind of interesting. I remember this part of the game being really hard. It hasn't been uh, unfairly so, though. You've got to be a little more careful than I normally am, though. But I'm kind of enjoying the challenge of trying to get everything done with Mira. Alright, this looks like... Yeah... Sure. Access... Wish I'd tried that earlier. <laughs> Open all security doors? Sure. And I guess we'll take the map. Probably missed out on some net experience points, but I'm okay with that. Seriously? Not that Mira has any way of knowing that the Jedi is on the other side of that door. decent drop we just had there. Also, there's a chance I've walked past more than a couple remains. I am sort of half-heartedly trying to leave them behind just so I have some form of breadcrumb trail. Hmm. Wait until I have the exile? Interesting. I thought the Jedi was wanted dead. Th eh, whatever. Feeling perfectly fine. I think it's kind of surprising that Visquis had so much faith in the gas in here when it clearly wasn't working in the Jack Jack Tar, but whatever. You'll, uh, the punishment's gonna take care of itself, I think. Kyber Dart. It's like a Cyber Dart, but more dystopian. No? I guess meeting up with Mira is pro- what? Probably important? Huh. Well, 
I'm not going to risk accidentally advancing out of this area without picking up any of the good, wonderful items. Ah, uh, it's good to have the Gunslinger back. Yeah, they've seen me. I think we've got decent critical threat range on these things too, just looking at the number values. Or maybe I just had a stretch of good luck. Oh. A level up that I can't use, unfortunately. We could, but... Yes, we can, we don't literally have to not use it, but we're at the point where it. W you'll recall a while ago I wanted to get to level 15 really badly. That was so that we could have a conversation with Kreia and become what they call a prestige class. It's kind of like uh, finding the rat's tail in Final Fantasy 1. Or if that reference is too obscure for you, eh, you basically become an upgraded version of any of the three classes we were allowed to choose at the beginning. So, it can be multi-classing, and at the very least will be an upgrade in every way. Flex heavy armor, that sounds pretty good. Also, decent superhero name. Think about it. Some quick backtracking. We have the world's most resilient locker to open. Hopefully with its contents undisturbed. Jal Shea belt. That might be good. And nothing that would have been damaged from shooting it open. That's always fun. Force resist, hey? Eh? Probably useless now, but I'm glad we have it. And wisdom plus one. That could be combined. Whoops. I mean, the electrical capacitance belt's not going to help us at all either, so... Oh, hello. That is fantastic for the situation we're in right now. That basically covers every type of melee attack you can receive. Right. Because the energy resistance will cover lightsabers. And blasters. I mean, hey, it's great if we're getting shot at, too. My favorite ways of getting shot at involve wearing heavy belts. Alright, there's a chance we missed something kind of cool. I took a left wall hug so we can retrace my route pretty easily. I guess I'll... Oh, it's probably not going to be super engaging for you guys, but I'm just going to take a quick... Oh. Browse through what I missed. I think Fora, or Farah is not doing so well either. Hmm. Free components? Please open. There we go. Actually, you could use uh, 
all the mines lying around is a bit of a breadcrumb to keep track of where you've been as well. Because they do look to be pretty consistently placed. Alright, I declare that declare that area mine swept. I think I got everything. If I missed out on oh no, there's the one key room still. Not you. <laughs> Everybody remember this place? All right, here we go. Components, fantastic. Also, we may have left some behind in the tunnels as well, but I kind of thought I saw everything. I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. Chamber. That might be useful. It sounds like it's going to improve our two hit quite a bit. That's just my guess. Alright, and we've done a little bit of running around, and I, I have a feeling that if I touch this, we'll uh, advance to the next area. So I'm going to end this video here. Um, hope you all enjoyed the bloodbath. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one, everybody.